In this video, we're going to be looking at how to print out the values of variables using the NS log. Um, so I think it's best to actually show you what it means. Um, so here I have actually declared a an integer variable and I said number of students equals to 4000. So how do we actually print it? this out to the console. I'm sure you must have seen what I did in the past. So you use the percentage i to represent an integer that you want to print out. So within the quotes inside, within the double quotes inside the NS log message, you put the percentage i to represent any uh, integer that you want to print out. Then you put the um, uh, the uh, variable name, actually the actual variable name at the end separated by a comma just like I did here same thing uh, with float you use the percentage F to print out a float uh, you also use the percentage F to print out a double uh, percentage F print out both float and double so right here you see that the account balance is printed as uh, uh, is printed here as uh, a a uh, decimal places, but th there's a problem. Uh, if you can see here, we we don't write money values like this, because it said uh, uh, two thousand two hundred seventeen point two three zero 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 zero. So we're gonna take care of that in a minute. And uh, to print out a, a character which is a char, uh, we use the percentage C to represent uh, the char character to print it out to the console and uh, to uh, fix the problems we have about money as you can see I have fixed it here and to do that all you have to do is just say 0 0.2 F so if you want three decimal places you say 0 0.3 if you want four decimal places you say 0 0.4 uh, you put that between the sign uh, between the uh, percentage sign and F and uh, so this is how we fix that and to uh, and to print a uh, floating point number in uh, scientific notation you use the percentage e so as you can see here the 0 0.0000000236 is printed as 2.36 uh about e raised to minus 13 so this is scientific notation this is how it's printed so you use the percentage e to do that so we have so many different different ways of printing these things and uh, about a couple of them up to 20 30 and uh, you find them useful depending on what you're trying to achieve so I just want to show you that we have different ones and and uh, say for example one thing I haven't done is uh, give me a minute uh, you want if you want to print out both uh, let's say we want to print out this two you, we can uh, let me show you what I'm trying to achieve here um, you can say the room temperature is percentage F and the number of students is percentage i so you can uh, percentage i so what you do is you also have to uh, number of students so it must uh, it must be in order so if you put percentage f before percentage i you must also declare the uh, double or float before the integer within the bracket so it must be in order because if you move the order around it will not work so let's run it and you can see here say the room temperature is this and the number of students is 4000 so um, you can have as much um, uh, uh, variable argument inside the bracket as, as much as you want so uh, I hope that makes sense and I hope you find that useful and I will see you in the next video thank you